Hello, everybody. Welcome to more Skyrim. Um, this is, I don't know, like, I might, uh, get, like, one more episode of this recorded before the first episode goes up. Um, I'm actually recording this the day of, or, well, the day before, technically. Well, it's after midnight, so the day of. But also, you know, it's, you know, before the episode airs. Because it's, you know, freaking. Um, like, you know, 2 in the morning, and this will go up at like 2 p.m. or whatever. Um, or, wait, no. I think tomorrow. I think it will be the day after that, because I think there's an end. I think I've literally already set an Endwalker episode to go out today. Come to think of it. Anyway, um, this might be the last. I'm trying to say that this might be the last episode of this before they like start airing. I'm so. just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. It's so nice to have a visitor. It's tough just scraping by out here, but I make do. So if I were to like murder you, then nobody would know. Is that what you're saying? Um, I can unlock a cellar. Cannot sleep in an owned bed. I see. Um, Song of the Alchemists. There is stuff I can steal, but I don't know that I really need to. It's so nice to have a visitor. It is, indeed. Never oh, frick! <laughs> She's a spellcaster herself. And now she is dead. <laughs> Blue mage robes, boots, steel dagger. Um, I don't know if that was worth doing, but I killed her. <laughs> she was a spellcaster, so there was every chance that, you know, it, it was good, it would have been good to not kill her. Helgi, dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel the power coursing in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. Announce that boy of yours and come. Come and live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together we can form a proper coven and your training will truly begin. Oh. Uh, I think maybe I did a good thing. <laughs> uh, cause... Coven usually refers to the idea that they are hags and hags are very bad so there's that um i can and here's the thing i can steal stuff but like does that like if i steal does it matter Since there's, yo, she's dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna take stuff and assume it's fine. Since she is literally dead. Um, there's a ruined book. I will say one of the, like, harder things is to tell, like, what you can or cannot actually, like, do. Um, 
from a, you know, from the, you know, third person perspective. So, I can seal the bucket. I'm not going to do that because I don't need it. Spigot. Wooden ladle. Lantern. Um, an arcane enchanter. An alchemy lab. An apothecary satchel. Carved skeeve hide. Ice, race, ice wraith teeth. And river betty. I'll just take all of that. That's fine. I am running out of space. Um, I'm at 304 uh, weight. So. Boots. Blacksmith's apron. Um. I don't know that I need any of that. I don't need the tankard or anything like this. Um, well, she's dead, so she doesn't own the bed anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little, uh, a, a little sleep. Yeah, just, just a little sleep. Petty soul gem. Like, do I want to keep collecting these soul gems all the time? Like, I know that they're useful for, like, enchanting, right? So, there's that, I guess. Um, but yeah, Ennis be dead. I hope that wasn't a bad thing. I'm assuming it wasn't, since she seems like she might have been a hag or a witch. Because it could be that she was a witch, you know, because Coven and witch and all that. Um, so it might have been fine. Like, either way, it might have been just fine that I killed her. <laughs> I don't know. People can let me know if I did a bad thing or not. <laughs> um, I'll, like keep that as like a separate save um if i find out like oh you did a bad you know i can like undo maybe because it depends on when i find out that i did a bad <laughs> so um i need to go east this way i need to be going this way I keep wanting to hit F5 to switch perspective. I wonder what game it is that uses F5 to switch perspective. Definitely not, you know, a major game or anything like that. No, not, definitely not, you know, one of, if not the biggest video game ever made. From one little indie company, you know? Nah, couldn't be that one. Definitely not. <laughs> uh, ripe. Um, bum, bum, bum. Let's see. Uh, okay, well, I think we're almost back. I both feel like there's not as much stuff in the world to, like, explore as Breath of the Wild had. Um, and I mean, maybe some of that is just because of how old this game is, right? Um, but also, I kind of, like, feel equally as much, like, that, um... Like, that there's actually more. Because it's not just, like, a big open, like, field here, right? And so it kind of has this feeling of, like, oh, there's, like, more stuff that I can do, you know? Poisoned green apple and a poisoned red apple. 
Why would I want to make that exactly? Like, can I, like, give that to somebody that would then, like, benefit off of that or something? You know? I don't know. Well, anyway, let's go talk to this guy. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Show um, those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. I have the golden claw. You found it. <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Completed the Golden Claw. Wow, 400 gold for that. Okay. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Oh, hey, she, he's got the, uh, the Golden Claw right there. That's interesting. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. What have you got for sale? No, he had spells. Creates a magic dagger. Shows the path to the current goal. Um... He chooses people up to level 20 will attack anyone nearby. What? Increase armor by 40 points and negate up to 40 points of spell damage. Improve the caster's armor rating by 50 points. Increase shock resistance. Reanimate a weak dead body to fight for you for 60 seconds. Hmm. I'm very curious about Fury. <laughs> Till next time. Um, eh, let's see. Power active effects. Oh, okay. This is that. All combat skills. Uh, I'm rested, so all skills improve faster. That's neat. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, oh wait, I need to go learn them by reading the books first. Do, 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 do. Fury, raise zombie. There we go. Um, Conjuration, raise zombie. Illusion, Fury. Gonna do a quick little save here. Before I go trying to fury anything. Feindolf thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius over. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Uh, I think I was supposed to cast that at somebody. Someone do something! Uh -huh. Found That was definitely not what I expected to happen. <laughs> Help! I'm being attacked! Dead. That was the spell, right? That's supposed to make them attack stuff? Creatures and people up to level 20 will attack anyone nearby for 60 seconds. I guess it doesn't work on NPCs. <laughs> I guess. Um, well, I guess I'll go back to using sparks for now then. Because that's been like my favorite. Th that's been a really like good spell up till now. So... Um, I can just take some of these Riverwood things for Trader some reason. You need in a general store. Like some of these I can't, but some of these I can. And I'm very confused with why there's a difference. Like why some is 
Why taking some of it is stealing and some of it is just taking. You know? Salmon meat, alto wine. Wine, wine. Speaking of all of this stuff. My sister oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Um, uh, what if I actually like go down into this section and actually like look at trying to sell <laughs> some stuff? My speech has increased, apparently. Potions, scrolls, food. Um, oh, restore stamina, but then stamina regenerates slower. Interesting. I totally didn't just sell him all of the wine that was in his house. Nope. Definitely not. That's hilarious, though, that I technically just sold him the exact wine that was in his house. Um, I guess I don't want to sell these at the moment. Um, some of these have, like, I don't even know why I have that picked up. <laughs> I didn't have any, like, real value. Ma the mammoth tusks do, though. Um, and the wolf pelts. And I guess eight linen wraps are good to sell. I'm assuming some of this stuff is worth keeping, but I'm not sure what. Um, I mean, I have the ancient Nord bow, so I guess I can sell the hunting bow and the long bow. Um, I guess I'll sell these. Um, I see a little bar here on the ancient Nord War Axe of Chills. But I don't see that anywhere else. So I'm a little unsure what that means. <laughs> um, like this iron shield would be good to use. But also, meh. Um, also, he's running out of gold, I am aware. So maybe trying to sell more things would be not beneficial to, to me. Um... Clothes iron, common soul gem, girl's blue dress, goat horn, greater soul gem. There's those mammoth tusks. 932 value. Freaking, I sold those things to you for 97. And you're going to try to sell them back Freaking 937? Like, what? Like, I should get at least half of that. <laughs> Not freaking a hundred gold. I'm sure that it makes sense. You know, like, I I'm guessing that maybe, as, like, as your speech increases or things like that. Um, you know, stuff will, you know, maybe I'll, like, be able to persuade for more or something. 
Um, again, I'm also aware that I am not haggling, but I'm also... Maybe I'm blind, but I wasn't seeing the option. <laughs> but, again, that could just be that I was, like, you know, blind. You know, I was blinding it. Um... What I'm also curious about, though, is if there is some importance to this letter, Helgi. So I'm either looking for somebody called Helgi, which is unlikely, um, or like Helga or you know more you know something like that um, that might be the person that that relates to your name is Gerder so I doubt it's you <laughs> yes I want to do a run of like Skyrim one day where I just like Max everything out. Get like, you know, stupidly OP equipment. And then just run around and see like if I can just murder everybody <laughs> in Skyrim, you know. I know that like it adds, you know, bounty whenever you kill somebody. Um, but also I think think that if you kill somebody but there isn't anybody around that it like doesn't and I would be curious or like if you kill everybody that like saw that you killed them kind of thing then like the bounty will go away or something like that um and so I would like to just see one day if like I could walk into you know Riverwood or something like that and just murder the entire village. You know? Just, just, you know, because it seems like it would be fun to see if you can do something like that. And, like, what the game does in that regard. Like, do the villagers come back eventually? Um, are there, like, unkillable NPCs because they're, like, quest-related? You know? Like, how does it react to... Um, you know, murdering, you know, important NPCs, more or less, you know? Because, like, I imagine there's got to be some kind of safeguards in the game to keep you from, like, killing the, like, quest NPCs, like, and preventing yourself from, like, progressing in the game. Um, but maybe not, may, you know, may, maybe they're just like, if you decide to do that, then you do that, you know, and then I would laugh because that just seems like a hilarious thing that you can do. Um, and then I would go on a rampage and kill everybody. Just to be able to say that I killed everybody in Skyrim. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, obviously, that day is not today. It will not be this run that I do that. So. It also makes me wonder, like, because there are some NPCs that are, like, White Run Guard, right? So, like, do those continually respawn you know like will those like respawn and such I mean you can like if anybody's ever tried that um feel free to leave a comment below um saying like hey you know actually this is the kind of thing that happens um like maybe you know after you've killed a couple of NPCs the guards become, like, so intense that nothing can prevent it, you know, you from dying, you know, or, you know, something to that degree. Um, 
I don't know. It, it, it it's always in like when games allow you to kill NPCs. I'm always curious, like to what extent that game allows it. Um, there was a an old AD and D second edition game called Baldur's Gate that did allow you to like kill anybody that you wanted to. Um, but every time that you did that, it would like make you more like notorious. Um, and like th there was a like score that would like increase as you like killed people. Um, and after that increased to a certain point, they would just like as you're walking around they would just spawn in enemies that were stupidly overpowered and could kill you in like two or three shots <laughs> um and I, I was always disappointed because i'm like you gave me the ability to play an evil character you know by allowing me to, you know, kill people. Apparently, I did not open the gate. Some, the other NPC did. And so, despite me hitting the button, I did not enter. <laughs> um, but, I'm like, this talk of dragons, world's gone mad, I say. I'm like, you give me the ability to be evil. And yes, technically... You are, you know, rewarding me, if you will, for being evil by having, you know, these NPCs come out after me and try to kill me. And, you know, that makes sense, you know, that that is the consequences of my actions. And you're kind of teaching me that, right? So it's not that it's necessarily bad, per se, because it makes sense. It's not like the game is just letting you murder, you know, NPCs. But also, like, you know, you're walking around, you know, you've killed a couple of people, and then just all of a sudden it's like, okay, here's guys that are basically unkillable and stupidly overpowered, and guess what? You're dead. Like, that seems a little excessive. <laughs> You know, so maybe that's just me. I don't know. Tell me what you think, you know. And so, like, I don't know. Does this game do that? Does it, like, spawn ever more, like, powerful NPCs until it reaches a point where you basically have to, um, like... Uh, where you have you would have to have like gear that is you know cheated and like ridiculously OP in order to like survive kind of thing. Um, or does the game allow you to do that? And it's like yeah. The dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Um, well, I am looking for more information on the dragons. I understand. Uh, started Dragon Rising. Have you encountered any dragons? Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf, one I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. Um, well, we didn't do these the last time. I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Um, do I look like a courier to you? I'll deliver the frost salts for you. Sure. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. 
Uh, do you owe allegiance to the Imperials? If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? Probably not. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the orders. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Good day. But you still have one more option. I'll put it simply, so you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in matters of magic. If the hold is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. Okay. Tharangar. Tharangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. Uh oh You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? Well, what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack White Run, I don't know if we can stop it. So I think this is one of those, like, things that the, um, you know, do it at your own pace mod was so, supposed to do. That tells me you came from the Western Watchtower. Um, which I think it did. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. <coughs> I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irlet, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. And please, Accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see studded this. armor of minor health. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Considering that warning, I assume you're not. <laughs> this could be bad, though, because... Um, like, one of the things was that... the This mod was set up so, like... You don't have to, like, fight the dragon right away. Um, and I kind of, you know, jumped right into that. So I might end up actually having to fight the dragon right away. <laughs> um, so far, so far the, uh, the, the mod has not exactly been helpful to me. Because I'm the kind of person that's like, well, I'll still do it anyway. <laughs> I'll see you at the watchtower as soon as the rest of the men have gathered. Alrighty. I mean, I guess I'm following Irelith anyway, but... Because, I mean, that's... Well, see, because there's a marker on her, but also there's a marker beyond. So I'm wondering if the idea is, like... I can follow her, or, you know, I can follow the other marker that just tells me right where to go immediately. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A oh, dragon? Now we're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking White Run. But house card, how can we fight a dragon? 
That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before, or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor-bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, no, so no. dead. But We're so dead. Honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours. If you're with me. Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah. Damn yeah. right. <laughs> Let's move up. Yeah. So we go kill a dragon? Yeah. He sounds excited to go kill a dragon. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If dragons were real and somebody you know, came to me and said, like, look, you have to be the one to fight it. I would be like, nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can barely even walk. You want me to fight a dragon? No. <laughs> Now, if somebody told me, there's a dragon, it comes in peace, like, you can walk up to it and everything will be fine, I would be like, I'm not entirely willing to believe that everything will be fine, but maybe I will get within, like, a few hundred feet and as I see people like become okay with it then maybe I will become more okay with it and try myself I would gladly like look at the dragon you know I would be like sure I will you know uh, I'll stand far enough away that I can look at it. But I ain't doing that. You know, I, I ain't, you know, I ain't gonna fight it. I don't know that I would even be willing to, like, get close and pet it. But, who knows? No signs of any dragon right now. But it sure looks like he's been... I know it looks bad. But we've got to figure out what happened. If that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're feeling. No already. Well, here's the watchtower. Let's go in. Hello, game. <laughs> Thank no, you. Get back. It's still here somewhere. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Guardsmen, what happened here? Where's this dragon? Quickly now. I don't know. Kid Red, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. Where he at? Kill the dragon! <laughs> oh, there he is. I was like, but where is the dragon, though? I'm gonna save first. Uh, I think this is... The later game. I have magic, you know. 
Probably not magic that can even come close to reaching him, but I have magic. Whoa! I'm on fire. That hurt. Mirror Molnir. I'm on fire and I'm dead. <laughs> Ouch. Um, this might be a good uh, time to <gasps> switch to maybe some arrows. I will say that this is, like, further than I've ever gotten in the game. I've never fought the dragon before. Um, in fact, I think finishing that dungeon earlier was, like, the farthest I've ever been in, like, in this game physically. Don't know where he just went. I don't even know if I'm like hitting him. <laughs> I think I just wasted an arrow. I know my archery went up, so I'm going to assume that I hit him. That said, archery is not particularly easy in third person, it seems. Uh, good pathing there, Mr. Dragon. Excellent pathing. Just like him dive bombing right into the ground and then like bouncing off. I thought it was funny. I think I'm hitting him. No. Nice. Amethyst, dragon bones, jeez, freaking dragon scales, gold, steel arrows, hey, my ancient Nord arrows, uh, white run guards armor, is that because one of the guards died, like is that, the, the, that guards armor here, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna grab those so I like stop. What the frick? I am glow. Use the shouts section of the magic menu to equip your unrelenting force shout. Word of power learned. Force. Unrelenting force. Dragonborn. Uh, Dragonborn? What do you mean? The very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim. The Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Sure? I think you might be right. Only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, 
Only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Try to shout, you say. I mean, sure, but before that, I wish there was like, um, like some kind of like a free camera. They are just coming back now for the first time in forever. I wish there was like a better like free camera. Uh, magic. So now I can go down into shouts and equip that. You say you they won't play quietly. Come on, here, Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon. And that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecarl. You ain't an old. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. Are you Arnold Schwarzenegger? Like, what is his accent? <laughs> I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Like, is he meant to be Arnold Schwarzenegger? Like, what is his accent that he's doing? <laughs> that was the hairiest fight I've ever been in. And I've been in more than a few. I'm taking command here for the moment. You head back to Whiterun and let the Jarl know what happened. Okie dokie. Uh, I mean, I guess that's that. <laughs> oh, okay. It re equipped my sparks. I guess there's just a dead dragon here now. Interesting that like, like I guess that I guess the idea is like, yeah, I like absorbed the the dragon, and that's why like he's just a skeleton now. That's my assumption, anyway. Like, because I absorbed the dragon's power, so... Foos! I know that's the first, uh, something. Um, like, after Skyrim came out, like, Foos Roda was, like, the, the big thing, right? So, like, I know that, you know, that's Foos. I can hear her, I can hear her say foos. Uh, what? What? That, that there, there was a rumble? <laughs> and then I heard Dova King come from the sky? What? It's very old Pelagio. By Izmir, you did it. You killed the dragon. So, like, I picked up one of your buddies' like gear. Do you like There's want it? Amongst the gods, <laughs> but you are dragonborn. But such a thing. Surely, that's not possible. Like, I, I picked up one of his friend's, like, armor off the dragon. So, like, do, do they want that back? You know? You've already been told you're not allowed. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. 
I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. Are you also Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> this is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. And we'll pay good money for information. Who are you looking for? A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. <laughs> Uh, why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. So what are you looking for looking again? For a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A red guard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. All right. She cannot hide from us forever. Oh, and then he's going to go to Rorikstead, I guess. Well met, Traveler. I don't know what a Red Guard is. Like, I... It was one of the race choices, but I don't know exactly what they look like versus anything else, so... Whoa. The world is shaking again. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thieves' den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Rip. Sapir, you tried mercenary work? And what were you two talking about? My Sapir doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Need help finding the sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful. <clears throat> Alrighty. Uh, you're not from Skyrim, no, are not. you? Looks like we've got something in common then. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, uh, but I left home when I was just a lad. I've been wandering ever since. Hmm. Amran is so a Red Guard. Please bring it to me. I don't suppose his wife is also a red guard. I just want to go home and read. You know some Alakir warriors are looking for a red guard woman? Who? I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Back to my book. I... All right. I mean, good on you then if you're not who, you know, I'm looking for. That's good. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure what is different. Like, is it just the, that they're like skin color? Because I can tell that both of them have darker skin color, right? So like, is that what the... Um, the Red Guard are, like, they have darker skin. Like, do I look for, do I look for a colored person? Or am, is that ro racial profiling? I'm finally here. The has been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? Why are there so many characters that have the freaking Austrian accent? Is that just because the, it takes place in that part of the world? Um, watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I thought I may be something called Dragonborn. I killed the dragon. I think I deserve a reward. Uh, well, the watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. Ooh, I could count on Irelet. 
Uh, I may be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? Uh, when the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. That's just what the men called me. Not just the men. The Greybeards seem to think the same thing. Uh, what are the Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do those Greybeard want with me? Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a doom or shout. Doom. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? 7,000 steps! High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. Cool. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl. Dragon Rising. The of White Run. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house car, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of the <coughs> Dragonborn. Thane. Your business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. I don't know yes. what that means. <laughs> But neat, I guess. What 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 it what does it mean to be Thane? Watch over your battles, friend. What's it mean to be Dragonborn? Well, in the old tales, the Dragonborn heroes would use the power of their voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. Wolfheart was Dragonborn. Talos too, the founder of the Empire. Back in the good old days. In the very oldest tales, back from when there still were dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. What do you know about shouts? In the old tales, Nord heroes would use the power of their voice to shout down the gates of cities and strike down their enemies. But only the Greybeard studied the way of the voice anymore. If you can shout, you need to talk to them. Who are the Greybeards? If it's the war, you know that. That was not what I clicked, game. But that day has not come yet. They're the masters. Also, the why is that voice. line like ridiculously close to the they mic? Live up on top of the throat of the world. If you're really Dragonborn, they'll want to talk to you. In the old stories. They always summon the Dragonborn for training. Now, if cool. you don't mind, I've got 
got a city to keep. Um so where is Lydia and what does being Thane and having her as my house Carl mean? <laughs> I don't know what any of those words mean. <laughs> Um, also, I guess he gave me, oh, Axe of White Run. Creatures and people up to level 5 flee from combat for 30 seconds. Ooh. But I think that looks like it's a great axe, though, as opposed to a, um, like a regular war axe. And unfortunately, I'm not using great axes right now. Um, did I level all of my skills up currently? I don't remember. I think so. I don't, I don't see anything saying I have any perks at the moment. So, this is stamina cost of power attack. So I don't think I have any perks Yarl at the moment. Has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. I'm a Thane. What does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. What does a house Carl do? As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Okay, follow me. I need your help then. Okay. I have the feeling you're just gonna die though. Here. I need you to do something. Yes, Thane. What is it? Uh, you've entered the command state. To issue a command to your follower, move the reticle until a command appears. Then press E to give that order. Yes, my thing. <laughs> Attack, Ronga! Still here. Um. Time for us to part ways. You need to trade some I am things. Sworn to carry your burdens. You sound very excited for that. <laughs> um, I mean, so I guess. So she's kind of like a second inventory as well, I guess. Like I can give her stuff and she'll like hold on to it. Um, maybe. Give act give her the axe of white run. Let's get going then. Also, did that unequip my spell? Yes, it did. Okay. I have no idea what this means to have her. Like, I feel like she's just gonna die. <laughs> See Bellathor at his store. Sleazy little man. But he has good stock. Like, I, I seriously feel like she's just gonna, like, die to, like, one of the first few encounters we have. So I don't know if this is great to have a companion, but I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep her for now, I guess. Somebody can tell me if it, like, it's worth keeping her around. Um, or if I should, like, you know, pop a squat, you know, have her pop a squat somewhere and then just stay there. Um, so, I know there are mods for, like, um, houses. I don't know if, like, getting your own personal house is only, like, a modded thing um, that people have just added, or if that's something I can do. Uh, I guess people can let me know that, too. 
Like, I don't know if the mods are replacing, like, the player house, or if they're, like, adding player housing, you know? I don't fully understand. I, I still kind of don't understand what she is to begin with. Like, I think some of it is that it calls her a house Carl, so that makes me feel like she should, like, have, you know, be around in a house. <laughs> and maybe that just has nothing at all to do with it, with it. but, you know. Also, this is really neat, because they've got the little, like, you know, it, you come out here, and then there's the little, like, crenels. Little holes in the wall there you for your shooting. I swear there's something out there in the dark. Storm cloaks, Imperials, dragons. Ain't no matter to me what I feel. Let them come. You're pretty confident to think that you can face a dragon. <coughs> also, I'd feel a little bad because I tried to go a little extra on the first episode like I usually do for new series. And then I definitely did not <laughs> because the episodes that I've been doing have all been very like similar in length. So also another, another neat little thing is that this is here so that people can like position themselves and like pe people are trying to like, you know, besieges the drawbridge here and you're just like shooting at them from here you know very like very well designed um like smartly um like it it, it matches with like what things would be like in medieval you know structures so um i assume these are just walls that have been like broken and like destroyed and not repaired you know from like sieges and stuff um then like you know you'd have guards up here and they'd be shooting down and then people would have to shoot up which is not easy to do you know to like hit you and then like here you know you're hidden behind this wall so it's like i can shoot down but good luck shooting back at me, you know. <coughs> I choked on nothing. <coughs> Sorry. I just like, I literally was choking on nothing for some reason. Um, so I guess. It wants me to go up here now. The throat of the world. Um, hi, Hrothgar. So, um, that said, not entirely sure how to get up there. Um, if this path here is how you go up there. That path starts over here in Pine Peak Cavern. So I, like, have to go to Iverstead first. So that's quite a ways. I have to, like, go across here, around here, then, like, start up here. Um, like, there might be other ways. This is just... This is an improved map, right? So this is just, like showing you the the like paths that are displayed here are not necessarily the paths that are here if that makes sense i don't know if i'm making any sense out of that um but yeah it looks like we've got a little bit to do um there are also quests like in my time of need balance of power um, some of these quests, um, Veteran's Retreat, oops, actually, I want to hit map and see where that's at, 
Um, so that's over that way. So I think it. I think this is technically the point where you can kind of be like, yeah, you're more or less done with the tutorial. Now it's time to start going out into the world, right? Um, so I might start doing that in the next few episodes. So if anybody has any like recommendations of things that I should check, you know, early in the game, feel free to let me know. <coughs> so, I do see the Storm Cloak camp is over here. Um, which I, I don't remember ever going to the Storm Cloak camp. So I don't know if once you finish Helgen... If both of the NPCs take you down here to Riverwood, um, or not, but I, I feel like I followed both NPCs at the start and ended up here, but I also don't know for sure, so maybe, but maybe not, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah. I guess with that, um, I do hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Um, there is a playlist that you can check to get caught up on any episodes you've missed. Uh, you can also check the video description for links to Discord and Patreon. Uh, it does help, you know, you, you, you can help support the channel and also come on out, hang out with us, chat and stuff like that. So, uh, with that, I'll see you all next time. See you later.